What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the JW Sports Talk Show. Where we're here is welcome. Today we are going to be discussing what the Cleveland Browns got in Elijah Moore, what they traded for. We're going to be giving my grades, even my opinions on the trade, and you know, feel free to give me your opinion about him. At, you know, if you're a Browns fan, getting him, what do you think about him? Are you excited? Who do you think is going to replace? Is he really going to replace anyone? Uh, you know, what kind of role is he going to take? Um, as a Jets fan, how do you feel about losing him? You know, as a Jets, you know, kind of, you know, Elijah Moore just kind of fell out of place. Kind of, you know, you have Garrett Wilson, Corey Davis. They signed Al Lazard. They have Nicole Hardman, Denzel Mims. They just signed Nicole Hardman really as a replacement. So I want you guys to let me know what you think. You know, you know, he, 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 even if you're not a fan of either of these teams, what do you think of this trade? Do you think it, who do you think won? Speaking of who won, we're gonna go over the compensation. We're gonna go over my grade. For each team. So here's the compensation here. The Cleveland Browns receive Elijah Moore in the 74th overall pick, which is a third round pick in 2023. The New York Jets, they get a 42nd overall pick, which is a second round pick. So I think this is a solid trade on both sides of the ball. You look at it from the Brown side. You know, they kind of need another wide receiver out of Amari Cooper. They didn't really have that number two guy. They had Don, you know, they had Donovan Peoples Jones, Anthony Schwartz, David Bell. David Bell had, you know, enjoyed a nice little rookie season last year. But, you know, bringing in Elijah Moore is just a different animal than um, than David Bell, Anthony Schwartz. He's kind of both of them. He's kind of, he's kind of a better, he's kind of better than both of them, even at what they do. You know, Elijah Moore is a smaller wide receiver. He's going to play in the slide. He's going to play in the outside. He's very shifty, great route earning, solid hands. Now, his character may be a little bit of a question right now, which kind of stinks. But coming out in the draft process and then playing in New York, Elijah Moore is a dynamic playmaker. You kind of just want to get him the. You kind of just want to get the ball in his hands. He's, you know, he's a fun playmaker. Get the ball in his hands. He's going to take it to the crib. He's going to get you a lot of yards. For, you know, runs after a catch. He's a deep threat. He's speedy. Um, there's a lot to like about his game and whoever the quarterback, well, you know, it's Deshaun Watson, but the, so if you look at the supporting cast from, you know, Deshaun Watson right now, the offensive line really took a step back last year. They're going to have to do some retooling on the offensive line, but you know, you look at the wide receivers, you look at the tight end, you look at the weapons, you know, the running back, you have Nick Chubb, phenomenal running back, one of the best in the league. You have Amari Cooper, one of the best runners in the league, if not the best, uh, Donovan Peoples Jones. He's a solid wide receiver. He's not, you know, you don't want him as a two. Um, I think Elijah Moore is better as a two than Donovan Peoples. I think he could be much better. You know, actually having a legitimate quarterback in Deshaun Watson is really going to help him. Now the Jets are expected to land Aaron Rodgers. Uh, you know, they're you know the you know the Jets and Packers are still trying to figure out compensation. And then Aaron Rodgers comes out and said, you know, I was, you know, you know, my intention was to play for the New York Jets. I want to play for the New York Jets. He's just a very complicated human being. And I think Elijah Moore is smart for getting out of there, whether, you know, Aaron Rodgers is going to be there or not. Because Aaron Rodgers, you don't know where you're getting him, you're, what you're getting with him, at, you know, every year. He, he shows up when he wants to. Aaron Rodgers plays good when he wants to. And if he doesn't want to play good, he's not going to. And then on top of that, Elijah Moore doesn't really have that, you know, doesn't really have a top three spot because... You know, Garrett Wilson, Corey Davis, Alan Lazard, and Denzel Mims is in there too. Denzel Mims is kind of a disappointment, but you know what? And, you know, they retired McCall Harden with, you know, that was after the fact, but kind of out of place. And he wants to be a top guy, and rightfully so. He's, a, he, you know, he has that type of talent. So going into the Cleveland Browns, uh, you know, the Jets really are moving up. They really kind of just moved up, you know. So I, you know, I, I think it's a good trade on both sides. You know, the Browns get another weapon for. Deshaun, as we were talking about, they have David Njoku and Harrison Bryant as tight end, Jordan Atkins, uh, you know, you know, the, the, um, the offensive line needs to be retooled, so we're going to see what they do with that, the defense was really disappointing last year, they, you know, they did lose Greedy Williams, they kind of get rid of him, Eagles signed him, that's another, you know, thing that, you know, it's another player that was kind of disappointing, I was excited about Greedy coming out, I thought he could be a fun cornerback, never really turned out in Cleveland. But nonetheless, I, I fully believe this is an A on both sides. Both teams win. Both teams got exactly what they wanted. They, I think they both got good value. You know, Elijah Moore is drafted at the top of the second, close to the top of the second. And, you know, the Browns were getting a fantastic, you know, another fantastic route runner, which, you know, when Elijah Moore played with Joe Flacco, I'm not saying Joe Flacco, you know, he maybe he is the best QB that has played for them, you know, over the last two years or whatever. You know, whatever. I'm not here to have that debate. That's not what we're talking about. But, you know, 
when he played with the quarterback that, you know, new defenses, had experience, look at how well he performed. Elijah Moore played incredibly well with Joe Flacco in there. He had a few good, he had a few good, you know, good games in there with Mike White, uh, Josh Johnson. I think he had a good game against the Colts last year. Uh, you know, uh, you know, Elijah Moore is just a is just an incredible playmaker. You get him the get the ball in his hands and he's going to make a play for you. So, um I really like this trade, both sides of the ball. I really hope Elijah Moore succeeds. At, you know, when he was coming out, he's he was one of my favorite wide receivers. He, you know, his route running, his footwork, his catching. He really does a lot well. You know, his size is a little iffy. I think he's like five foot eight. Let's look that up real quick. Uh, let's go. Elijah Moore size. Let's see. Elijah Moore size. He's actually five foot ten, so it's a little taller than I thought. I thought he weighed on five foot eight. I don't know why it was that short, but five foot ten isn't that horrible. Yeah, he's not tall, he's not big, but, but you know, he's whole dynamic with his legs, his feet, he's fast, he could catch. You know, you, you get him on wide receiver screens, crossers. He's so dynamic, and he gets so open. He's going to be a great weapon for Deshaun Watson. So, you guys let me know what you think. You know, do you think this was a good trade on both sides? Who do you think really won it? Do you think it was even? I think it was even. Um, I just want you guys to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That's all I got for you today. So, thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and post on occasion bell lines. You don't miss any future videos. This is JW Sports Talk Show. Signing off.